Hello, you're welcome again to this session on in your WordPress site. And um, right now we have done a video on installing WP Local, how to install your WordPress, how to install your plugins and theme. So in this video right now, we'll be upgrading our WordPress version. Why is that necessary? Okay, from what we did last time, we learned how to install. We mentioned in the video on how to install your WordPress that you would certainly need to update your WordPress version. And then it is necessary because whenever you add a WordPress site on your WP local, it comes with an old version of WordPress which is not compatible with some plugins. The old version of WordPress has lag in security and can be prone to attacks. So when you build your website on an old version of WP, before moving it or maybe after you've migrated it to a live domain, you can update it, but advisably update everything so as to freely build what you want. For functionality purposes let me show you the plugin i just installed now and there is an error message here please extend and expand the functionality of wordpress you may automatically install wordpress from the, the from the wordpress plugin directory or update upload a plugin in zip format by clicking the button at the top at the top of this page this message popped up after i tried to install a plugin is already let's go to the plugin directory to see what that is okay that's talking about how to install plugin here so we've done that already so i just installed a plugin here body press so I'm trying to activate the plugin. Look at the message that pops up here so that you know. All right. Error. Current WordPress version does not meet minimum requirements for WordPress to run. That's a plugin. This is a membership site we are trying to build now. And then the version of WordPress installed automatically on WP Local at the point you were installing your site when we did... Um, how to install your first WordPress site, your WordPress site on WP Local. So that version of WordPress, if you remember, I told you we were going to update it, is not compatible with this plugin uh, version requirement. So it has to be a higher one. So to update the plugin, the WordPress version will be required so as to be able to use this plugin. So right now the same place you have always been going wordpress.org www.wordpress.org go and download the current version of wordpress and then follow the steps i have done i've downloaded already so we'll go back to our wp uh local here from our wp local you see site go to site folder we've explored all of these before so and that was in the first video on installing WP local so I go to my site folder all right look at my app here that's where WordPress is the public HTML as a public directory now these these were not here these this zip I already downloaded it so it's here on my computer okay you can look at it here here I have WordPress 6.1. This is actually not the current version as of the time of this video because there's a higher version to this, which is already up, but this will meet the requirements. I downloaded this um I think on the 8th of January at least is it will be quite it's quite higher than that. So but this will be compatible with what we are doing. So I copied this. I just copy this and um, copy and I took it to the site folder so I pasted it here and that's how so I just right click 
on my mouse and then pasted this and that's why you're seeing the WordPress 6.1.1 version 6.1 version right okay this is I extracted the file here so I right clicked on it and choose extract here extract here and uh, you find is WordPress here extracted so this has all these um, root files and the folders here so I'm going to take these uh, zipped folder out I'm going to delete it you already have it extracted so there's no point leaving it here let this be deleted now and that is in process and you're seeing that okay it's out then we come back to all of these files we are going to replace them we already have them so remember WP content holds your food your uploads your themes your plugins and upgrades you do not have to touch your WP contents folder so what we are going to do here I'm going to delete so I'm going to delete so I hold down my control key and click on admin go to include leave HT access leave other things go to delete activate WP header leave your config file please leave your config file and um, this is a sample of the file so I don't think because that's going to have it whether or not you take it away it has no no issue but then I will delete it you have the so I'm taking out all other things in this except my WP config file my WP contents and I will leave the HD access the index license dot text and read this HTML index file so I'm going to take out all of this please pay attention here because if you've started building your site before the update maybe you are not you didn't update before you started effecting the changes on your site maybe adding plugins teams and you have started doing some things and you mess up here you're going to destroy everything you have done so at this point I'm taking all of these away and then right click and delete yes cleared now so here is the wordpress i installed here i unzipped so i'll open it and get the replacement for all the files deleted from here i deleted admin so i'm going to do that i deleted include i deleted activate i deleted comment uh, block header i deleted comment sample that's config file sample uh, yeah the pp config sample I, all of these things were deleted so i'm going to replace them from the current version of wordpress the updated version so i copy it I copy it, right click and the uh, copy. So I go back to the yeah, and then I'll paste it. It's going to replace all the files that were taken out. Okay, it's in process. Then it's done. So at this point, okay, good. Everything has appeared now. Just the same way it was taken out. So we can go ahead to delete the WordPress here. It's not, it's not needed, it's not necessary. Don't need this here. Don't need it, you don't need it necessarily here. So let it just be taken out. Let's reload our page.
Oh my god. Yep. It's coming. So let's reload the page now. It's reloading. Yeah, update. Yeah, WordPress has been updated. Next and uh, final step is to update your database new version. Yes, you see now. So it's going to be updated. Okay, continue. Update complete. So you can look at how everything is going. It's going to return a new new version of WordPress. Wow, you can see now. Okay, let's try something. It, before we go back to what exactly we were doing, we are going to see the update. So let's go back to the uh, home. Here yeah, you are going to see. Wow, this shows. Wow, we are now on WordPress 6.1 version. So you now see the change made. So if we go back to the plugin we were trying to activate that error would have gone okay so let's activate the plugin now okay okay so let's go back you see the plugin now And it's active. You see now? Okay, so I want to add another plugin. So let me go to upload. We've been taught how to do this in the video on how to up add a plugin and theme. So It's loading okay so I will look for the plugin here use the file it's a plugin that works with body press and I downloaded that from look at the zip folder here Downloaded that from WordPress.org. So I install now. Okay, you see now the plugin is working. We can activate. These two plugins would not work on an old version of WordPress. That's why we have to update and I have to add these two plugins to show you that the update works and we are now on the higher version of WordPress so it's updated so this is how you update your WordPress version on your local host this applies to WP local applies to ZAMP applies to even your lives you can choose to update your WP uh, version on your live sites from the cPanel and then when troubleshooting of course I'm going to be doing more on troubleshooting this is how you work and effect changes on the site most times you might not be able to access the admin area of the site and then you can also work from the back end of the site so these are all the things you are going to be doing thank you and subscribe comment and like the video we're happy to come up and be challenges you are having if you have any just come in the comment section make specific requests and i will guide you through i will do a video on that and send
to make sure we are sailing through properly.